What's going on everybody and welcome to your 44th JavaScript regular expression tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be writing a simple email validator program using regular expressions and I hope you know the objective of all these tutorials all these writing dummy programs tutorials is to make your understanding better in regular expressions and how they work and to make you know about maximum of the special characters and their usage and escaping and all that stuff in regular expressions so let's get started many a times uh, you would like to have your users enter email address in your forms on your website so one way to validate your users email id is like finding okay so first of all to create this regular expression we'll need to find something unique or uh, things about an email address so let's say uh, we have a email address like abc at the way gmail.com which is a perfectly valid email address valid mail and what's unique about this is first of all we have got a string before at the rate there's only a string then we have got an at the rate sign and I don't know if it should be an or a but I'll just go with a at the rate sign and we have got a domain name which is again a string and then we have got a dot then we have got a top level domain which is again string but these two right here are only alpha numeric and this these two would allow us to narrow down our regular expression to find out some cheeky email IDs which are trying to spam your inbox so let's get started and for this let's take an input from the user input should be prompt just like our previous program and enter your email address and let's say regular expression should be now oh, I guess I shouldn't have deleted that so let's copy this down let's uh, let's undo 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 and we've got this and let's do like this so now one thing we need is to check for a string bit before the at the rate sign so uh, for checking for a string we have got the special quantifier as backslash and a capital S now this capital S would check if the supplied thing is a string or not so obviously we would like the email ID to start with a string so therefore this would check uh, sorry yeah so this would check if there's a string and then we would like this to continue searching for a string unless it encounters a at the rate sign now we wrote plus here because we want to check regular expression continuously unless we reach the other it sign so I don't want regular expression to split up every string into an array and then return it to me every character of that string to be more precise and if you want to learn more about this then go back to my last tutorial I'll expl I explained about this plus sign uh, kinda deeper there so now we have other it sign and we have to check for another string now now let's go ahead and check for the string because now we have to go got the gmail and now this gmail would be matched by this s the backslash and a s so it would match any string which includes gmail as well and then a dot but if you remember then dot is a special character which would match anything so we need something to regular expression to tell that we don't need this dot as a regular expression but as a string literal to be matched so we'll escape this and by escaping I mean that this should not serve as any special purpose but 
should be regarded, this dot should be regarded just like any normal other character like this at the rate sign. And since at the rate is not any special character in regular expression, so we need not to escape this. So now we have got a dot and again I would like to have a string which should be a top level domain which is com here. So to summarize this thing up, let's start with this string which will match ABC this string plus unless it encounters a at the rate sign then we have got gmail for this s and yeah it should be plus so that it uh, continuously search for the string unless it encounters a dot right here which is escaped with this backslash itself because dot has a special meaning if I do it like this then it would have a very different output as expected so as expected no it should be against our expectations so anyways and then we have got a dot for the separation of the domain name and the top level domain and then we have got a string and it should be plus again here so I hope the regular expression is clear and let's uh, run it in the browser so here's our browser and let's reload this whoa I guess I didn't set any condition for here to match let's say result should be input dot match regex and let's just console log result because we know that type of result is object obviously so let's reload this and let's say I supply abc at the rate gmail dot com and let's say ok so it gave me this string because it matched matched perfectly with this regular expression now let's try with some deformed email address uh, let's say mm, let's say I just give it mehol. So now it gave me null because regular expression test failed on this. So one thing you could check that if result equals null or maybe triple equal, then obviously not a valid email and else valid email. And we have got a interesting method for this a more precise which would return a boolean value instead of the regular expression uh, the matched value itself or the null and that is the test method now match belongs to the string prototype but test belongs to I guess reg XP object prototype so okay so let's take a look at the test as well in this tutorial so test would actually result in a boolean value would return you a boolean value if the regular expression match was successful and this is basically true and basically helpful for programs like the email validator where you need to know only about whether the email supplied is true or false and you don't have any task to do with the value returned by the match function so let's take a look how we use test and since I told you this test method is the prototype of the regxp object that means this would be in the format of uh, regxp dot prototype dot test and this is the test method and we have got string dot prototype dot match as the match method uh, if you don't know about these string prototype and you don't know what the prototype is and how it works then go back way along to I guess my 11th or 12th tutorial where I started with prototypes and prototypal chain and all that inheritance model in JavaScript and how prototypal inheritance works inheritance work and you'll pretty much understand everything in that so now we need to change our code a little bit to make it work with the test method so to work with test as I told you it would accept as a regular expression object so now instead of input we would use regex so regex is our regular expression object regex literal literal right here and we would make use of the test method of this object 
and inside the parentheses we will supply the string we want to test against so this is kind of mirror of match and it would return a boolean value so this would be now if result equals true then this is a valid email now valid email and else this ain't a valid email so let's reload this and let's say have a console log this yeah so let's reload this and let's say some random bunch of text and let's hit OK and we get false because this is not a valid email and let's reload this again and let's enter a legit email address and let's hit OK and we got true because it matched our regular expression this expression right here completely now obviously this is not a bulletproof regular expression for validating against all the email addresses because this would also accept like uh, I don't know let's check this out this input and as you can see it returned as true so what we want is that obviously we won't want user to submit like quotation marks or double quotation marks and our regular expression should consider it as the correct email address so what we can do is that we could actually convert it into your uh, alphanumeric value right here which has said you a to z a to z and 0 to 9 as I told you and then similar for the other it sign and we have already only got uh, alphabets for the TLD and to avoid this fuzz of capitalization what I can do is I can just put a I flag right here and this would mean that this uh, regular expression should be treated as case insensitive so this would treat abc at gmail.com same as abc at gmail.com so that saves you a bunch of regular expressions and now let's test this out let's reload this and let's enter let's say abc and we got false now let's reload this and let's enter abc at gmail.com and we still got false whoa so let's take a look where we are uh, so and yeah okay so we need not to escape the this series uh, this range because we are already putting the square brackets and we escaped the s quantifier so now we have got a to z we want the first part to have anything from A to Z and the numbers a plus sign to denote that the regular expressions should continue unless it encounters a other it sign then we want A to Z and 0 to 9 to work unless it encounters a dot sign which is escaped because dot has got a special meaning of itself and then finally we would like the last one to have all the alphabets because uh, I don't think we have got alphanumeric characters in the top level domain do we have let me know so now let's reload this program and let's type abc at gmail.com and hit ok and it evaluates to true as expected now uh, this attempt would fail now by putting any special character which is also treated as string and this would eventually evaluate to false now this regular expression is indeed powerful or more powerful than our traditional one which only just checked for the string input but yet again I'm not saying that this is the only bulletproof method and I'm sure that this could also be bypassed in one way or another like uh, you could actually write any length of the top level domain 
but obviously this much along top level domain wouldn't exist but it would still evaluate to true so the basically this would be not be a 100% bulletproof solution and if you want one then you can uh, google your uh, uh, this what you say email validator regu regular expression for javascript and you'll get many ugly regular expressions go ahead and see those try to understand those and yeah I should explain uh, what I did here so when you're typing a range so if you want like A to Z in the first field and you want it to be 0 to 9 as well then you can do like this and uh, I guess I told you that already that you could also use this thing which would uh, literally mean alphanumeric itself but I'm using this thing it's up to you I'm using the range one which uh, is inclusive A to Z and 0 to 9 remember no gaps here and I could also give like A to Z but since I'm using the I flag right here that means it should be case insensitive so this should also be a valid email address and as you can see because of this I so thank you I and that's all for this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed creating your email your own very first email validator program with regular expressions and I'll see you then and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching my video